It should come as no surprise that longtime actor Richard Gere has called some gorgeous places home over the years. He's long favored the East Coast over the West with his former mansion in the Hamptons, what was his primary home for decades in Pound Ridge, New York. And currently, he's traded that longtime residence for his 35 acre estate in North Salem. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Richard Gere is one of Hollywood's most bankable and infamous leading men who began his career in the late 70s, both on and off Broadway. He then appeared in Hollywood films like Terrence Malick's heralded Days of Heaven in 1978. But Gere wouldn't enter the limelight until two years later when he appeared in Paul Schrader's American Gigolo. And this film, well, it turned him into one of the biggest male sex symbols ever. In 1982, Richard would cement his status as Hollywood's go-to leading man when he appeared in An Officer and a Gentleman, which probably has one of the most famous endings in movie history. Then he'd reinvent himself with two movies in the 90s, Pretty Woman and Internal Affairs. With more than three decades of successful film projects under his belt, Gear would earn himself an unbelievable $120 million net worth. Of course, he's also lived in a host of spectacular homes, including a Sag Harbor mansion in Southampton, his 50-acre compound in Pound Ridge, and his current estate in North Salem. Hey guys, it's Kara, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and this time, we're checking out the ritzy homes of Richard Gere. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Look, celebrities know how to do vacation homes right, and Richard Gere is no exception. After all, his Sag Harbor Beach House is a 6.3 acre estate known as Strongheart Manor that he picked up in 2005 for a reported $6.9 million. The property is comprised of three separate lots, the first of which contains the main house that was first built in 1902 and boasts an outdoor pavilion, as well as a dock that looks out over 300 feet of bay fronted water. Over the next few years, Gear would extensively renovate this property, increasing the square footage of the primary house to 12,000 square feet. He also had it transformed into an energy efficient and geothermal estate, while still managing to retain the home's original charm and character. Some of the highlights of the interior include a screened in porch spanning the entire length of the house, as well as entertaining areas including a formal living room and dining room with multiple fireplaces. All in all, the home is said to include 12 bedrooms, a dozen bathrooms, a totally updated modern kitchen, breakfast nook, a fully stocked gym, and exterior amenities like a 60 foot long heated pool, rolling lawns, breathtaking gardens, as well as basketball and tennis courts. Finally, the property also includes two guest houses, totaling around 1,000 square feet each. After owning the property for eight years, Richard would put it on the market in 2013 for $70 million. In other words, 10 times what he paid for it. Well, he would end up lowering the price to 47.5 million shortly after, then eventually sell the home for $36.5 million. Originally purchased in a series of transactions over a 10 year period starting in 1986, Richard's primary longtime home was located in the picturesque town of Pound Ridge, New York, about 50 miles outside of New York City. Hidden down a leafy country lane and surrounded on all sides by tranquil, calm nature, this almost 50 acre estate boasts multiple structures, including the New England style main residence which clocks in at an epic 11,658 square feet. Also inside, eight bedrooms, nine bathrooms, and two half baths. The home's incredible sense of privacy is also enhanced by the more than 4,300 acres of protected land that borders it. Richard's four other structures are sprinkled throughout his property and combined together to create an understated New England aesthetic that's familiar, inviting, and classic. The main residence includes three stories and plenty of colonial charm, only with the added bonus of updated furnishings, appliances, and the latest tech. Natural light manages to find its way through all 19 rooms with the help of some massive windows placed throughout, which help give the home a bright and airy vibe. 
Over in the extremely formal living room, you could easily sit back and enjoy your beverage of choice any time of day while getting warm by that massive fireplace. Then there's the slatted roof kitchen with upscale appliances and marble countertops. Then Richard's primary suite offers a fireplace and an ensuite bathroom with a tub located in the middle of the room. There are also some spacious secondary residences on the grounds, one of which is set to serve as the compound's main office. Rounding out the rest is a charming shed and a rustic six-stall horse barn. Outside, there are fenced paddocks, tranquil gardens, rolling hills with riding trails, and more than a few ancient trees. It also includes a handful of amenities like a private pond with a sandy beach and shoreline pavilion, a swimming pool, and a full-sized soccer pitch. But as so often happens with rich and famous men when they move on from one partner to the next, they also trade in the house that they shared with their ex as well. And that's exactly what happened with Richard. After living in this home for more than 20 years with his former wife, Carrie Lowell, the two would get divorced and Richard would go on to marry Alejandra Silva in 2018. The following year, they'd welcome a baby boy and in 2020, well, they would secure a new home for themselves in North Salem. It would take Richard a couple of years to move off this property, but in January of 2022, he'd find a buyer and sell his longtime residence for $28 million. So why don't we take a look at his new family home next. Richard and his new bride decamped from Pound Ridge and headed to North Salem, New York, an equally affluent and quiet community. There they settled into a red brick Georgian mansion that was first built in the 1930s for an heir to one of America's great family fortunes, the Woolworths. This home is said to have been modeled on Groombridge Place, a 17th century home in Turnbridge Wells, Kent, England. A home which was once featured on the cover of British House and Garden. Gear, a famously private individual, hid this purchase by registering it to a Los Angeles trust company that he has used in the past to buy his other properties. As for why he and his wife selected North Salem as their new hometown, one of his associates would tell the Daily Mail, I think the attraction for Richard is that North Salem is known for protecting the privacy of other rich people, including entertainers who've lived there for years. For what's been reported to have been just under $10 million, Richard and his new wife purchased themselves a 9,000 square foot beauty and then set about dropping another $700,000 on a vacant neighboring parcel that brought the total size of their new estate up to about 35 acres. When it comes to the home's details, it's a seven bedroom, nine bath manor with details like period moldings, plaster walls, and custom millwork. Its interior living spaces include a spacious chef's kitchen, as well as formal living and dining rooms that boast details from the home's original period architecture. There's also a luxurious media lounge with a wet bar on the far side of the room and some rustic looking furniture with a cowhide rug. The home is also said to boast a cozy library, wine cellar, a modern looking gym, an indoor lap pool built inside a performer greenhouse, an outdoor pool with an accompanying pool house, a tennis court, and even a two-bedroom guest house with a gatehouse and a caretaker building as well. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this Richard Gear house tour to an end. Be sure to let me know what you thought about his three homes in the comments down below. Which one of these mansions would you prefer to live in yourself? For me, it's hard to choose, but maybe his current place in North Salem. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.